health is in a constant state of flux. One minute you're happy and blissfully ignorant, going about your day, and the other you're in an anxious, depressed mood that makes you want to pack up your life and run away, or at least bleach your hair and get bangs. I'm usually straddling the thin line in between the two. I'm happy enough to be functioning and alert and awake, but I'm depressed and anxious enough to question my surroundings and constantly annoy myself. Hey, can we talk soon? Yeah, sure, no problem. Cool, see you later. I've been aware of my mental health from a very young age. Um, it's attributed to my sometimes difficult childhood where I grew up. But because of this, I know that it's easy to see that my highs can be very high. But my lows can be oftentimes low. Same. And although I'm consistently immersing myself in my mental health and reading about it and studying it and getting to know it better, there are times where I'm still stuck in a depressed funk that's really hard to get out of. But personally I found some ways and practices and activities that I do that usually help me get out of my depressed funk and back into kind of a place where I want to be. Implementing these ways into my daily life and creating a routine and a structure really helps build these tools that I can use to bring myself out of the darker times. <laughs> that drawing is awful. Honestly, you're not good. I don't know why you even try. You should just give up. No one's um, gonna like this. Excuse me, who do you think you are? You can't talk to me like that. Just because you're me and I'm you does not mean that you, me, can talk to me, you, like you're talking to me right now. Sipping on that truth tea. Oh, and she's sweet. Slay hunting. It's hard to do these things, and one day you might wake up and think that you don't want to talk yourself out of something. You don't want to be nice, you don't want to uplift yourself, and that's okay. It's not about consistently doing all of these practices, it's about building a structure. The important thing is to create a routine that consistently creates habits that help you better understand your mental health and get out from under it and make you the one in charge instead of your mental health. It's about getting your life to a balance and a moderation. And I'm not gonna lie, loves, this is hard, but it's a journey that we all have to take. Mental health is different on a case-to-case -case basis. What works for me not, might not work for you, but I hope that you'll use the tools that I have in this video as maybe guidelines or stepping stones to get towards feeling better and feeling how you want to feel and in the end get you to be the person that you really want to be. Thanks for watching my video. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a comment below, like, subscribe to my channel obviously, follow all my social media links below and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. Uh, I'll see you next week. Bye loves.